doesn't just apply to ladies. I've gotten so much email over the past few years of people asking me how to shave their pubes and I've basically always just said, yeah, no, not gonna do that. Reason being that I don't want to be another one of those forces that pressures people to shave off their pubic hair. I know when I was younger, I felt a lot of pressure to get rid of that shit. And on one occasion, I got such bad razor burn that I landed myself with a gynecologist worried that I had herpes. These days, you know, I kind of like pubic hair. I get excited by bushes the size of Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, I said it. Haters gonna hate. And we all know what you gotta do about the haters, right? Ignore the shit out of them. Which means that if deep down you don't want to shave your pubes, it just doesn't interest you, or you get really bad razor burn, or you're lazy, don't do it. I haven't shaved for months, but maybe in a few weeks I'll decide, hey, I want a different hairstyle. In which case, here are some things that I've found to help you shave your pubes and avoid the bumpy, burny, itchy, red, nasty, horribleness. out a razor, the first thing you want to do is give yourself a little trim. Get the hair nice and short. Then hop in the shower or the bath and soak for five to ten minutes. Then take an exfoliator or a loofah and gently remove the dead skin cells from the triangle patch on top. Full shave is the key to avoiding irritation. So removing all those dead skin cells first, it's gonna help you get a little closer. So in terms of shaving cream, I like to use the kind that's a gel to foam. You want something that's not too thin and something that's not too thick. And then your razor. So your razor should be sharper than mine. If this is where you don't wanna skimp, you wanna have something that's really, really sharp. Triple blade, quadruple blade, built-in chainsaw. This is not the time to pull out that rusty disposable that's been sitting in your shower tray for who knows how long. You want something intense. Then with a very gentle pressure, don't push too hard, you want to move the razor down in the direction that the hair is growing. Try not to go over the same area twice that can cause irritation and grown hairs. This is why you need a sharp razor. I would advise not shaving really sensitive areas. They're really difficult to shave, easy to cut, and they are even more easily irritated. I have cut my labia before and oh my god. Do it that way you will. <laughs> now after the fact, pat dry. First, very thin layer of Neosporin. Let it absorb, then add a good quality basic lotion that doesn't have any fragrance in it. Let that absorb. And then powder. Oh, <laughs> not that much powder. And then pull on some boxers or loose fitting panties. Nothing too tight. So that regime has worked pretty well for me. Everyone's different though, so you kind of have to find what works for you. There are some different types of creams and gels out there. None of them have worked for me. They might work for you. Something that has worked for me though that I actually later ended up using as an alternative to shaving was um, hair removal creams. These don't get as close as a shave, but they do remove the hair. All you do is put the cream on, wait five minutes, and then wipe it off. I'm lazy, so it works for me. So I think that's about the basics. If you're one of those people that you try lots of different things and you still find yourself itchy, irritated, red bumps, consider that your body might be telling you, ep you. It's a very sensitive area, and sensitive areas, eh, typically don't like to be messed with. Just throwing it out there. All right, y'all, I will not be here next week because I'm gonna be in Canada, but I'll see you the week after. Mwah. What?